Good morning everyone and good morning Daisy. Um, it's Tuesday now, day two of my vlog. Oh, a bit worse for wear. I was a bit, uh, a bit croaky this morning. I'm not surprised. I did a six hour live stream last night. It's not, it's not for public viewing anymore. I didn't delete it. It's unlisted. So uh, I, had, I had to share the link with Elliot from Elliot and Matt. So he's got something to watch on the plane. I'll probably send him to sleep. Elliot and Matt have a, a YouTube channel. And um, today they're flying off to, to get on a, a cruise liner. Going to Miami. Oh, Daisy, you're so demanding. So, yeah, I didn't get to bed till after midnight, way after. If I've got a shiny nose, it's because I've put something on it that's a very red colour and shiny. Um, I'm prone to breakouts on the nose for some reason. So unless I put stuff on it twice a day, um, you know, it goes a bit like a, a boozer's conch. What's the time? Well, it's only 20 past nine, so I still got up around six. Just had a kofi and um, let the dogs out to do their business. No floods in the kitchen. Millie hasn't uh, done anything. I think Molly slept downstairs on the sofa. When I went to bed, she was asleep on the sofa, so I just left her there. But, you know, she was free to come upstairs if she wanted to, but I don't think she did. I think she stayed, uh, stayed downstairs. And she's fine like that. She's, she's, she's a dog that likes to be on her own a lot. Not like Daisy, who, you know, as soon as I sit down, she has to be on my knee. But Molly's a bit more independent. Quite happy with her own company. Um, so yeah, had, had, had a coffee and then I just uh, popped down to my brother's to feed the cats. They were fine. Also brought back a vacuum, packed it back in its box and carried that back. So I've still got to go back down there. I've left the carpet washer down there. I've got a, a rug to shampoo and I've got a few bits around the edge of the carpet to, to um, clean with the hose attachment and put the rest of the furniture back in the living room. I've put back one piece of furniture. I think the carpet's bone dry now, but you know I'm going to leave it until later today. I think there's just a side table and a nest of tables to go back. And I gave, I gave it a thorough vacuuming this morning after it was shampooed. Looks good, smells nice. Um, and I've got a floor washer. I brought some things to demo, you know, to review here. And I've got a cordless floor washer. So I think I'll go down there again with my camera and um, film some of the demo there because it's a different type of floor and it'll be interesting to use on a different floor. And I don't think Amanda, my sister-in-law, has any sort of floor washer. So it'll be interesting to see how dirty the floors are. Um, I don't know if she just uses a mop and bucket, I'm not sure. Maybe she just uses those wet wipe Swiffer things. But anyway, I'll uh, do a bit more videoing there. They're coming back on Wednesday, so I'll go down there Wednesday morning to feed the cats and that'll be the last time. I need to go down. My mum's not coming back till Saturday. So um, plans for today. I'm expecting a delivery. I wonder what it could be. Mm, but it's got, it's got four wheels. It's about so high. And it's got a button on it that when you press it with your foot it goes and you go like that with it. Mm. So I'm looking forward to this particular model. Um, I'm just fingers crossed that it's <laughs> arrives intact. I think the seller um, has sold other vacuums, so he or she, assume it's a he, um, hopefully knows how to pack a fragile vacuum from the 1980s, or it could be a late 70s model, I can't remember. But anyway, it's, it's one I've wanted for a while. Um, and I've got other deliveries due. I, I, I've ordered quite a few bits and pieces for delivery here. So I've got some fat face clothes due, got a couple of bits from Amazon, um, a vintage Hoover steam iron, new in the box, or some vintage but brand new 
uh, 13 amp plugs. I just bought four of them. So, uh, is that somebody? I don't know what time parcel force come around this area. You know, at home, I know I know not roughly the sort of time. It's always afternoon, but here could be different. There's a lot of, I, I hear cars, but they just use my mum's drive as, as a turning circle. No, they're not here yet. So, um, yeah, when that comes, I'll make a video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a few videos, two or three videos, fingers crossed, here today. And I'll pop back down a bit later in the day to see the cats. And um, if I feel up to it, I'll uh, finish the shampooing. Um, and that's about it. I'm still trying to find, I lost a suction gauge. Did I mention it? I don't know if I mentioned it to No, I might have mentioned it. I don't know who I'm talking to these days. I don't know if I've already mentioned it on this vlog or I mentioned it on a live stream or Instagram. <laughs> but I lost this suction gauge that I used to show the suction of a vacuum and I had to get it from America and it was $99 plus taxes and in, you know, in, um, shipping and import charge, all that. And I hope, hopefully, I'd have to buy another one. I, I remember the last time I had it was here in the house, so I'm just looking under bits of furniture if it rolled under something. I could have just dropped it in a box. So I'll have to try and remember what vacuums I was testing the last time I was here on my own. But anyway, in the meantime, folks, I've got, I said I've got a fat face delivery due, which I have, but I also, it's a second delivery. The first fat face delivery came before I arrived. I think it came on the Friday actually, or the Thursday. It arrived quicker than I thought. So I've, I've bought a few items from Fat Face, naturally in their sale. I never pay full price. So uh, let's have a look at them, shall we? Do a little bit of a, a mini unboxing, see what clothes I've got, see if they fit. For those of you who don't know, especially my overseas viewers, Fat Face is a clothing retailer in the UK. A fairly, I think they're a fairly young brand, but um, I think I discovered Fat Face a couple of years ago, liked some of the stuff, and um, it fits my odd shaped body on the whole. Most of their stuff fits. This t shirt is a Fat Face. I've got many Fat Face shirts. So I, you know, as I said, I never, never, ever buy clothes full price. Never. Always wait for sales. And being the size I am, often the size clothes I want are, are normally left and and get reduced to rock bottom. All the popular sizes go. When I shopped at Next a lot, I got loads of bargains in the next sale. What's that? Oh, I've got a damp patch. I think that was Daisy licking. Let's have a look then. Shirts, jumpers, trousers, a coat. That's a nice, a nice shirt. Czech shirts are quite popular in the 90s. I remember walking around York in the 90s in jeans and I could actually tuck. The shirts were tucked in. I had a belt, Czech shirts, jeans. Someone in the street called me gay. So it must have been a gay look, I don't know. Oh, that looks a little bit on the slim side. Most of their shirts fit. Some are snug. It's a bit hit and miss sometimes. That's a nice, subtle check, I find. It's a regular fit. And don't buy slim fit shirts if you've got any sort of belly. I found, I stopped shopping at Next because nothing from Next fitted me. Everything seemed to go slim fitting. So there's a shirt there. It would have been 45 pounds. It wasn't anywhere near that. Right, so there's the first shirt. Here we have a jumper, I think, because it's, we're in autumn now. Just a crew neck two-tone jumper there, look. Mm, I think it's got wool in. I shouldn't really have wool as a vegan, or well, lapsed vegan but vegetarian it feels like it's got some wool oh it's made in china 
It's 47% acrylic, 25% nylon, 23% polyester, 5% wool. Well, I can use my wool program on my washing machine, can't I? And I've got some special wool detergent. So there we go. That's a, a jumper to just go, just a casual jumper goes with jeans, doesn't it? What's this? Oh, I think this is a hoodie. Now, if all our bills go up like, the, like we're being told, I think people are going to need to layer up at home. So a hoodie can be worn outside while walking the dogs or inside. If you get a bit cold, you can even pop the hood up for extra coziness. I think they did matching bottoms for this, for a whole loungewear look, but I don't think they did my size in the bottoms. This would have been fifth, oh, 39.50. That's not a bad price. That's full price, obviously it wasn't that. So it's just a slip over hoodie. There's no pocket in the middle. It's a diff it's, it's a sort of a, I don't know what you'd call that fabric. It's not just plain, it's got a bit of a texture to it. I'm going to sneeze, hang on. Am I? False alarm, oh, Molly's sneezing. She's doing dog sneezing. I don't know if you can hear her in the background. Odd way to pack a pair of trousers, isn't it? <laughs> I thought I'd I, I'm all, I just wear jeans, you see, all the time. So I'm trying to buy other sort of or other sorts of trousers. Um, oh, these are made in Bangladesh. Oh, I didn't see where they. We've got China, Bangladesh. Pakistan, crikey, it's uh, all over the world. And where's this shirt made? The shirt's Black Knight, check. They, they source their cotton responsibly. Oh, that's made in India. So these, I think, are slim. St oh, standard issue made to fit. Yes, they are a slim. I don't like baggy trousers, you know. They're going to need an iron, aren't they? So I just thought the khaki, this is something a bit different. Still fairly neutral. But yes, well, I'll try out my vintage Hoover iron when it gets here. Hopefully I won't ruin these new trousers. So that's trousers. Got to try these things on, haven't I? Another check shirt. A smaller check, a regular fit, and this one's made in India. Again, perfect with jeans, possibly even with these green trousers, I don't know. But there we go. And finally, for this batch, a coat. I don't need a coat, but I like the look of it, and it was it was a good good price. Depends if we get a harsh winter. This is a sort of an in-between coat, you know, it's not a big, thick winter coat. Sort of an autumn coat, I feel. We are in autumn. So, quite a smart, smart casual coat with buttons. I think this is wool. Molly's licking her privates behind the camera. Sorry if you can hear any squelching and licking noises. It's the dog. Um, this is 55% recycled wool. I'm not sure where you get recycled wool from. And this was made in China. Mm. Well, it's hard to buy British made stuff. M&S used to sell a lot of British made clothing, didn't they? But that's all stopped now. So this is a button-up jacket. Now what sort of pockets does it have? Because I like a few internal pockets for your phone. Uh, it's got one down there at the bottom. And that's it. Out, uh, outside pockets, either side. Hmm, 
All right, let's slip this one on, see if it fits. Well, here's the coat slash jacket. It's a, bit, it's a bit itchy, but I think when I'm wearing this, I will have long sleeves on. Let's do the old, uh, suck the stomach in. Do what they do on the home shopping channels. Ooh. Oh, pockets up there as well, look. Not that side, just one breast pocket, two side pockets, and one internal for your wallet or your phone. Be okay if you haven't got a huge phone. So there we go. Let's try some other clothes on. Here's the jumper. Be alright if I, when I'm a little less fat and my boobs have gone a bit. Yeah, it's, I'd say that's about the right, about the right length. Just casually walking the dogs on an autumn day. The leaves falling, but the sun is shining. But there's a bit of a, a nip in the air. So just slip on the jumper. Chat with your friends. Oh, hello. Fa, 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 fa. And there you have it. Yes, it's a nice, nice fit. If my body was nice, it'd look even better. You never look like the models. Might shrink slightly. I hope it doesn't shrink too much. That's the thing. I will use the wool cycle on my Mila. But yes. I do like the contrast. So, that's the casual jumper. Here's the hoodie again. A nice fit. This is small size. If I'd gone for medium, it would have been looser. But then the, the arms would normally be too long. I think that's about right for the arms. Um, oh, there's, there's pockets. I didn't notice. Oh, or a pocket. Oh, two pockets. There we are. Oh, good. That's that's nice. There's pockets. So you can um, fumble for your change. I don't. I never used to sort of wear hoodies, but they are a good thing for holidays. You know, when you're going in the caravan in the autumn time, just want to have a brisk walk. You don't need a coat on, but. You need something, especially if you're on the coast, you need something to sort of take the chill off. So popping on a hoodie over your t-shirt and then if it gets a bit nippy, up comes the hood. Oh, that feels, it's not, I know I look, I know I look at it, I look at it, I know, but you know, yeah, it's, it's something comforting about a hood up, isn't there folks? So, uh, yeah, I would seldom have it up. But as I said, walking along the beach, if it gets a bit nippy, just pop your hood up for a bit and feel the nice warmth. And then you get a bit overheated. I'm not someone who can wear bobble hats and stuff, even in the depths of winter. I just get overheated. But having a hoodie is good because pop it up when you're a bit chilly, put it down when you start to go a bit red in the face. So yeah. Another nicely fitted garment, nice length, nice fit. Yep, so far everything is okay, it's been a success. Here's one of the shirts, again, ignore the belly, but there's still room. Nice length, about the right length of sleeve. Oh, look over there. Hmm. Yeah, as I say, my body shape spoils it, but it does manage to fit. And hopefully when I do get slimmer, it will fit even better. But yeah, that's nice. Fairly light, it's not a heavyweight shirt. Quite subtle check. Looks good with jeans. You could wear it with chinos, wear it with shorts 
wear it with a leather thong, whatever floats your boat, this is the shirt for you. So here's the other shirt, another nice fit. Plenty of room if I was to expand, I don't want to, but it fits, you know, it fits my trunk, fits the back fat. Actually, I don't really have back fat, fortunately. Maybe a slight muffin top. This is where my problem lies. But yeah, about nice, nice sleeve length. A pocket. I never, I never use the top pocket of shirts. I mean, it, it spoils the line, doesn't it? But yeah, that's, that's nice. The only thing I've got left to do now is try on those trousers. Well, here are the trousers. They are, I could do them up. <laughs> but they are they're little tight but brand new trousers they do loosen up don't they so yeah they are fairly slim but as I don't you know I don't like a baggy trouser but yeah they were good length not too long not too short even if I've got shoes on I think they'll be fine I don't know do they go okay I'm not sure if they go okay with this shirt I suppose I suppose it does does my bum look big in them? That's that's the thing. Does that look big? I can't. Yeah. So yeah, everything. I'm not returning anything. I never do, do you? <laughs> Especially when I buy clothes in the sale, I never bother returning. It's just too much faff. So I just fold them up and put them in the uh, the linen basket that we have to for all our charity stuff. So whatever we decide to put to charity household ornaments, other utensils, items, clothing, bedding. We just put it in this big linen basket and uh, Mark takes it periodically to uh, the animal charity RSPCA shop, I think, we go to. So yeah, well, we've got the label, label showing there. So yes, I, I can take all the labels off, or cut all the labels off, because I'm quite happy with my selection from Fat Face. Very good. I'll be showing you another Fat Face haul later in this vlog. Well, they should arrive this week. <coughs> so, slap a myth eye, it's panto season. I'll see you all very later, later in the day when hopefully I've got something else to say. But that's it for now. <laughs>